20, I'd like to introduce our first comedian tonight, a very funny gentleman. Give it up for Mr. Doug Ray. Hello, hello, hello. How are you everybody doing? Swallow's Day in the big city of San Juan. Anybody see a swallow out there today? This is a holiday for the birds. You should see something out there. All I saw were horses, cowboys, and caballeros. And some boy scouts. You know, I've been watching, uh, the last month I've been watching the, uh, all the award shows, the Academy Awards and the Golden Globe Awards, and this Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. All right, ladies. Matthew McConaughey, man, he took all the awards. And the great thing is, I am channeling <laughs> Seriously, it's all right here. I go, I, you know, I, I go home. I set it up. I'm ready. I get a little action on this. So I go in the door and I go, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking good. And I look out there and. Yeah, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> you know, she's sort of in the program. She wants to get me to get out there and get it done. So to help me out, my gym bag is at the front door. Propecia is sitting on the counter in the bathroom. The man tan is right there. I gotta get my tan out. So I wanna have my teeth whitened. Got that portion of it going. But I'm working on it. Golden locks, that would be good. Yesterday I went to see my tax man, my financer, Tommy the tax man. And I get in there and I, he tells me how I'm gonna get screwed this year, where all the money's gonna go. And I go, Tommy, what's the deal? You know, he's gonna get me screwed. Who's maybe a shot I gotta get him screwed Latin next year, so I'll take whatever action I get. <laughs> yeah, really. So the next question he asked me is, when are you going to die? Seriously, when am I going to die? Let me check my calendar, see what I have on the books. Just get me going, maybe get to, uh, I, I can book something, maybe make a retreat out of it. But he says, yeah, let me know when you're going to die. Now, we all have goals. And my goal is to live for frickin' ever. I want to go until eternity. You know, we all make New Year's resolution every year. My New Year's resolution is, I am not going to die this year. I'm not going to die this year. It's a plan. It's a resolution I have never broken. How the rest of it works. But you know, it should be, I'm going to live this year. But that's... That's a little too positive of thinking for what we do. <laughs> Living forever, not bad. I, uh, I have a family history. My father died. My grandfather died. And the guy before him, who I have no idea he is, I think he died. There's a good shot of that happening. But I have a long life of death in my family. <laughs> I think you do too. I don't know if you any, know any Neanderthals out there, but that's a, this is a good shot. They're all dead. So, <laughs> I said, uh, Tommy, how, you know, how, how am I gonna fix this? I mean, my friend Jack passed away. And another friend said, he passed away peacefully in his sleep. He passed away peacefully in his sleep. He had a heart attack. The guy's laying on the floor. He's not peacefully sleeping. I said, that's not going to work. Well, he's in a better place now. Look, the dude's in the coffin. What in the hell is his story? I mean, he's looking good. They made him uh, look pretty good, but that's not going to happen. So this whole death thing, you know, I, I get to... Uh, we're into the meeting and Tommy says, okay, you're gonna, 
be okay until you're 85. And I said, what? I'm gonna die at the age of 85? He says, well, better you go. It's all the money you got. <laughs> and I said, I said, that's not good, 85, jeez. I mean, what happens if I get there and I, all my money's gone? I just, I'm gonna have to plan something. <laughs> Perhaps my wife will take care of that, if not before. I said, what am I, what's going to happen if I live to 105? He said, you'll be living in a box and eating dog food. I said, okay, I can handle that. My eye will take care of that. You know, getting back to the award shows, you know the film Her? Yeah. It's about a guy that falls in love with an operating system. I mean, he's carrying around a metal box with the operating system. I don't know where they snuggle, but this is not the cool way to go. I have a relationship with an operating system. Her name is Siri. Siri is, you know, good morning, Siri. Good morning, Doug. Do you have your coffee, Siri? You know I'm not human, Doug. Yeah, that's true, but, but the, the question that got me the best was, Siri, who's on first? <laughs> you know what she said? She said, correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got that one, and it worked well. So this whole death thing, I, I don't want to talk about that anymore. The, uh, the other thing, I went to Palm Springs last week. They have something called the Jubilee Folly, Follies. For most of you, this is a, a show for people 55 and up. And I, you know, I thought I was gonna see a senior sitter, a, you know, adult school kind of activity, but it was classic, it was classic. There were 75, 80 year old women that were beautiful. Not that it would fit in my category. <laughs> I'm not there. But, I had somebody, somebody named Freddie, who asked me, Doug, why on the weather channels do they have all of these beautiful young women? And I said, Freddie, I don't know. I have no idea. But I do know that the review on my, on my remote is getting worn up. <laughs> because every time the weather comes on, I'm hitting remote, hitting remote, hitting remote. Until I hear that voice go, have you memorized the weather report yet? <laughs> Not good. Jackie Johnson, she's a sweetheart. But the thing that, uh, the thing that I, I like the best is when I'm watching the weather girls and there's a cold front coming in. <laughs> there's a cold front coming in. They keep me abreast of all the, all the weather reports in the Southern California area. So, I'm all set. Thank you, that's what I got. I got a weather report to go see. See you later. Doug Ray, give it up for Doug Ray.